Hi, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we're making a sitting creature. I put these here to show you how, how similar they are. This is a dog, a lion, an elephant. You can see the similarities in that the back part of the, or the top part of the leg is always thicker than the bottom part. So fatter, skinnier. Fatter up here, skinnier here. Fatter here, skinnier here. Fatter here, skinnier here. Fatter here, skinnier here. Fatter here, skinnier here. So it's the way that it is with animals. Uh, and the body type is either fatter to skinnier or skinnier to fatter, depending on the animal. So I'm going to go ahead and start by making a column like this. And then I'm going to make it skinnier on one end by placing my hand at an angle. So it's like this, and I'm going to roll it like that. So I'm putting more pressure on this part of my hand as compared to the other part of my hand. So I'm putting my hand at an angle. I'm, I call this the karate chop method. And you can see that really makes, you know, this part of the body skinnier. So if I'm going to be doing, I'm going to make this a little bit fatter on this side to make a real difference. Now if I'm making a bear, bunny, or elephant, then the back part of the creature would be fatter than the front part, bear, bunny, or elephant. If I'm making any other creature, uh, like a, uh, a uh, dog, then the chest area is larger, much, much larger than the back area. A lion, chest, a chest area larger than the back. Um, just about any other a creature, a giraffe, horse, the chest is very, very large compared to the back. So I have my basic shape now. And now I'm going to roll some legs. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the body. I'm going to start by making a column. And then I'm going to put more pressure on this part of my hand and roll it so that I get it skinnier on one part. So top part of the leg, bottom part of the leg. Smooth that bottom. So these are going to be the front legs. The front legs are always skinnier than the back legs. And now I'm doing that karate chop method to make it skinnier on one side. There we are. And now some more clay for the back legs to make them heftier. So I'm making a column. And then I'm doing that karate chop method. My hand is basically touching the canvas when I'm doing this. Because I really want to put more pressure on this side of my hand. And one more. Roll it in your hands if you want first. And then roll it in the, on the canvas. Karate chop method to make it skinnier on one part. There we are. So I have my back legs and I have my front legs. So you can really see how uh, these ones are a lot skinnier than the other ones. Let's make them about the same size. Looks like this is about right. I'll just cut them across. And cut them across the bottom. You want to make them a little bit longer than what you need. Because you want to make the feet out of the bottom part here. Uh, make sure and my students watch the video on how to make the feet. I'm going to do a simple foot here, but I'm not doing the toenails and things like you need to watch the video for that. But notice I have my fingers on both sides, so I'm making a nice kind of point at the at the back of the foot and then I'm squishing the front. Something like that. So again, so this is going to make it stand. Just if you remember that part but I'm not going to try to make it nice on this video because I've got to make sure I 
go with the time and then you're all making different animals and I only have one animal body video so here we are so now we're going to go ahead and connect so the very fat ones they go on the back of the creature if it's a lion or, or some animal like that so I'm going to go ahead and just dip them in water for right now. Uh, you should be scoring and slipping, most definitely. This is a large piece, but I don't have time on this video. I don't want it to go too long. So I'm just making this wet, putting them on the back, and squishing. Now notice, These legs should not stand out too much on the sides here from the body. That's why I'm squishing them with my hands here. And I'm trying not to squish them with too much more because if I do, then it's going to get uh, fingerprints with my fingers. So that's why I'm using my palms when I squished them there. Now I'm making a coil that goes around these legs to make sure that they stay on. Again, make sure that you put a coil with some slip around these legs. Otherwise, they do have a tendency to fall off. So again, on the other side. So I'm making this for standing, and then we can make it sitting. it around pressing it in I'm not going to spend too much time uh, smoothing this in this video this is just for you to get the basic idea you can really see how it actually looks right you know the back legs are nice and thick they're fatter here and now for the front. Pressing them toward the top of the body. Don't add them on the bottom. I've been seeing some of my students doing that. There we go. And adding the coil. Making sure it's long enough. Again, score and slip all the way under. And one last one. Really make sure and always roll with your palms. And adding it. And smoothing. You'll want to smooth this much more than I'm doing in this video. But this is just the basics for you. So you can see we have the basic shape here. Skinnier at the back, heftier at the front. And now we're going to make it sit. So notice here, one bend, two bend, out. So about a third, you're going to bend it up, back, and out. And then the other side, about a third, up, and back, and out. And you're going to put it down, put the feet down. You can see that I have too long of an area here. I can pinch off the extra, but you get the idea. And now for the front legs. So the front legs are going to go down in front. Notice the back legs stick out. So I'm going to make sure and press this in 
because I don't want it to look too fat on the sides. That's going to spread this out right here to keep it fatter at the top and skinnier at the bottom. Then I'm going to push it down and press those feet out. So this is your basic creature sitting down. Thank you so much and have a great day.